Hello, my hungry friends. My name is Anna. In 2001, I moved to America from my hometown of Szczecin, Poland to be with the love of my life, Mark. While living in the US, I realized that I wanted to share my passion for Polish cuisine with America and the world. So finally, in 2015, I started a Polish food blog. After my husband retired from the army, we decided to start a new adventure in my native home. We spend our time showing the world the wonders of Polish cooking in our kitchen, and sometimes we shut down our kitchen and explore Poland together to find as much good food as we can. Welcome to Polish Kitchen. Welcome back, friends. This is Polish Kitchen, and my name is Anna, and today we're cooking a delicious Friday meal that doesn't have to be eaten on Friday. We're doing uh, a Polish steak and fish fry, which was very popular, is very popular in Poland uh, to be consumed on Fridays or during Lent, or if you come to the seaside, then it's mandatory, right? Yep. Fish, every, fish everywhere. So these recipes are from my book, my new book, Polish Kitchen, My Family Table. You can find it at polishkitchen.com, uh, top tab bookstore. I'm using the Christmas carp recipe. This is the way we, we uh, prepare our carp during Christmas time. Uh, very simple. And I'm also using a recipe for sauerkraut salad because sauerkraut goes with fish. Apparently. If you didn't know, now I get it. Now you know. <laughs> uh, so I opted for cod today. I have really nice and thick cod fillets here. And it was one long one I cut it into four. So we're going to start with our cod, uh, since it's uh, quite thick, I'm going to put it in a pan and have it start um, frying. So we're, in, we're not deep frying this fish. We're just going to cook it. I probably need to going to have to have a cover, but we'll get to that. <laughs> I have a little bit of oil in here heating and I'm using grapeseed and I'm going to add a little bit of butter. Butter is the secret. My grandma always did that and it adds a little bit of extra flavor. So. This is a no, was a no. <laughs> and we'll prep our fish. And that doesn't take much at all. I'm just gonna do a little layer of salt and pepper. You can go as heavy as you want. You can go as fancy as you want. You can add, uh, it's pretty common to add uh, granulated garlic over it and also uh, some sweet paprika. So just regular dried paprika. And then what we're gonna do is super simple. Once our um, oil is nice and hot, I'm gonna stir this butter in and add clarified butter too. Maybe it'll be a little bit less explosive. <laughs> I have just regular plain all-purpose flour in here and I'm just going to dip my fish in in the flour. So no egg batter? No egg batter, just flour. Oh. And I shake it off a little bit and in it goes. I don't want this super screaming hot because I don't want it burning right away since these are so thick. I want to make sure these cook on the inside. And in it goes. All sides and we have number four so this goes in and I'm just gonna turn my heat down a little bit it's pretty down I guess and cover this and let this slowly maybe leave it open a little bit slowly cook through as our fish is slowly coming to its new existence Mix this oil a little bit in there. I'm gonna make a sauerkraut salad to go with our um, uh, with our fish. So I have uh, probably about half a can, three quarters of a can of, of um, sauerkraut, and I just sliced it a little bit to make the piece a little bit slow, uh, slower, <laughs> shorter, so they don't that we don't get super long strings. And I have uh, one small carrot, peeled and shredded. I'm going to add a little bit to here and 
I'm gonna add, I'm not adding any salt, but I am gonna add a just tiny bit of sugar, maybe half a teaspoon. Let that melt. And I am gonna add a little bit of oil. Can you use any kind of oil or olive oil? I would, I would use oil that doesn't have a lot of flavor. Okay. Because this, we want the flavor to come from um, our kraut. I want this to cook, but I don't want this to steam. I want to have a nice crust on it. So I'm just watching so this doesn't steam. It's probably better to leave it on low and just cook it longer. And then to our sauerkraut and carrot, I'm gonna add about, um, probably I can do this whole half of an apple. Keep stay, 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 stay. And we'll just give this a stir. And our salad is pretty much ready. Can add just a little bit of pepper to it. Smells like summertime by the seaside to me already. Smell of sauerkraut. And uh, as mentioned, this is a super popular dish during the summer at the seaside if you come to Polish Baltic Sea. You will see. You will see the sea and you will see a lot of fish and sauerkraut salad being served. Our salad is pretty done, eh? Oh no, I forgot onion. I have probably about a quarter of a medium onion. You can judge that on your own. I, I diced mine pretty small or pretty fine just because I don't want huge chunks in, in my salad. And we used to love this when I was a kid. Mom and Grandma used to make it all the time on Fridays. And the combination kind of gets ingrained in your brain. You know, when you're eating fried fish, you have to have sauerkraut salad. My mouth's watering. I don't know about yours. Now, would you let this salad combine in the fridge for a little bit? Sit there it's okay. If, yeah, together, yeah or sure. Or it's okay if it does. If you don't have time, this is a super quick dinner. So you can uh, make the salad while your fish is frying. You can make it ahead of time. It's, it's all home cooking, so we'll make it work, right? Now, I'm serving my fish and sauerkraut with uh, young potatoes today. I went to the market uh, to shop for our recipe today and they have young potatoes already. And that's another kind of uh, flavor that reminds me of home and reminds me of Polish cooking. When young potatoes are just starting to come out, that's, that's all we, we eat all summer. Sometimes just potatoes and we chase it with buttermilk. <laughs> Nothing like boiled potatoes with a buttermilk Yum, chaser. yum. Okay, let's see what our fish looks like. Well, it's starting to look real nice. This is a very mild and fish for people who don't like fish, like my husband behind the <laughs> camera. <laughs> Right? Yeah. I'm not a fish fan, that's for sure. Well, what do you think about the combination of uh, buttermilk and potatoes? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh-huh. Yeah, absolutely. And you're yeah. not even Polish, so... You acquire Polish uh, flavors. I have, definitely. Yes. Yeah. We'll give, it, we'll give this a couple minutes for our fish to finish. Turning off our fish and we are ready for Fish Friday. Look at this gorgeous filet of cod. Mm -mm. Can you see? Mm. Fingerling or young potatoes. I always like to cook them uh, skins on for extra flavor. How gorgeous is this? Dinner that took all of 15 minutes to make. Friday, nobody wants to cook anyway, right? Don't forget dill. Young potatoes, dill. Ooh! And we're not counting calories here, right? We've never counted calories on people like that. So a little bit of butter and your potatoes right before you serve them. And then this will stick better. <laughs> Whoopsie! 
Are you brave enough today, my love? Um, yeah, I'll have some after you taste it. To <laughs> tell me for sure. Mm. Yeah, I could eat this every day. The combination of young potatoes with fish and sauerkraut salad. Come on. I gotta try this. Next fish fry. You're in? Oh, I think they should. Look how beautiful. Oh, I thought you were offering this. I am you. offering this stuff. That was uh -huh. it. <laughs> Ow. Coming from a guy who That's doesn't. very mild <laughs> and delicious. And sauerkraut. Sorry, sauerkraut. Mm -hmm, perfect. Puckery enough. Mm -hmm. That's all today, uh, my friends. Please go to Porsche Kitchen and check out all the recipes. Check out my book, Porsche Kitchen, my family table. I hope it's in stock again. <laughs> if it's not, it will be soon, I promise. And we'll see you next time. Smachnego! Edit the explosion. Edit the explosion. <laughs>